In this video, we're going to be talking about roles and permissions inside of Voyager. So let's go ahead and take a look at our roles right now. And if we go to our roles, we have two roles, which is just admin and user. And I'm currently logged in as the admin and I do have admin privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and go to edit. And if I go to edit this role, you can see all the permissions that this role has available. So they can browse the admin, browse database, media, compass, and then all the other bread types down here. So the menus and the pages. So let's go ahead and take away browse pages for this user. And let's click on submit. And now if you see over here, we can no longer browse any of the pages because we have revoked access for this particular role and they can no longer view pages. So if I were to try and go to admin slash pages, I'm going to get an unauthorized error because I can no longer browse the pages. So then let's say that we wanted to show this on the front end. So we wanted to see if this user can browse pages or read, edit, add, or delete. So we can easily do that with some blade syntax. So I'm going to create a new route and inside of my routes web.php, I'm just going to add a new get route. So I'm going to say get pages and I'm just going to then return a view named pages. And then I'll need to create that view and it'll save that as pages.blade.php. So what I can do is I can actually use this blade syntax called can. So if this user can browse and then I can pass in a page object, so I can say page I can say end can. Then I can just print out you can browse pages. And then I need to maybe just get the first page. So I'm going to say page is equal to TCG Voyager models page first. And the reason why I'm using this is because we actually, have, this is the page model. If I were to go into my tools, database, and go into the bread for the pages, you can see that the model namespace is right here. So if you wanted to have a different namespace, you would need to change it there. So then let's go ahead and go back to the code. So we say that we want to get the page. And then if we hit this route, then if we can browse the pages, we should see this message. So let me go back here and just go to voyager.dev slash pages. And you can see we no longer show anything on there because we no longer have access to browse the pages. So let's say that we then went back to the roles and we want to give this user permission to browse the pages. We can then click on submit. And if I were to go back here and reload, you can see now that we get this message, you can browse pages. So this is really cool because now we have this new blade syntax that we can see if users can browse, read, edit, add, or delete any data type. So we could also say if this user has edit access, we can say you can edit pages. And sure enough, if we were to go in here and take away the edit permissions, then we would no longer see that message. So we could go back here, reload, and we no longer see that. And we can just run an else right here too. So we could say else, so if they do not have permissions, we can say you do not have access to edit pages. So if we reload and now we get that message. So you can see that we can use this new syntax right here to see if the user can browse, read, edit, add, or delete any data type. And there is another syntax that you can use too. So say that we wanted to maybe just see if the user could browse, we could say pages. So we could just say browse pages and we can use this helper called Voyager can and say browse pages and this will give us a Boolean value. So we can say, if browse pages, we can say else and, and if. So we'll just write in here. So if they can browse pages, we'll say you can browse pages. And we'll say you cannot. Okay, so going back here, if we reload, then we get undefined variable browse page. And it'd be good if I kept them consistent. So now we reload and we can see that it says you can browse pages. So now if we go back and sure enough, if we were to revoke the browse access, then we would get the other message. So we click on submit and now we reload and it says you cannot browse pages. So you can see that you can easily use blade syntax or you can even get a Boolean value as to whether a user has certain permissions to browse, read, edit, add, or delete any data type. 
So that is a basic overview of roles and permissions. And if you do want to learn a bit more, make sure to head on over the documentation and check out the roles and permissions section.